Welcome to Electron Line. Much of what we know and understand today about the special and general theories of relativity is due to some brilliant insights that Einstein had about these concepts. Things that were not very popular in the day when he came up with them. And so we're going to touch upon a few of these, a few of these brilliant insights that he had because it helps us understand those theories a little bit better. These are not particularly in any particular order, but let's just take them as they come and we'll have maybe a few more videos explaining some of these in a little bit more detail. But first of all, the concept of the speed of light. So what Einstein said was that any observer that looks at a light beam or a light moving through space sees that light moving at the speed of light irregardless of the speed of the observer or the speed of the source. In other words, Let's say that we have a stationary source putting out a beam of light moving at the speed of light, the speed of C, so C represents the speed of light. And for those who are not familiar with the speed, it's equal to 186,000 miles per second, which is quite fast, which in kilometers is equal to 300,000 kilometers per second. So light moves quite fast, and so let's say we have a stationary source, like a lighthouse, putting out a beam of light, moving out at the speed of light, being equal to c, and let's say we have a spaceship going in the opposite direction with an observer, and that spaceship and the observer are moving at 0.9 c, meaning 90% the speed of light, so they're approaching the light coming towards them from the opposite direction. Well, classical viewpoint would say that, wow, that light is therefore moving towards us at much greater speed, we add the two speeds together, and we would then think that the light moves at us with a speed of 1.9 times c, but that's not the case at all. Einstein said, no, that's not going to happen. Regardless of how fast the observer is moving towards the approaching light, the light will still appear to be coming towards the observer at the speed of light. Another situation may be where the observer is on the Earth, not moving, and there's a spaceship approaching the Earth, and a person on top of the spaceship I always like to draw my, my astronauts on top of the spaceship. It's easier. Notice they have a spacesuit on. And it's got a flashlight and it shines a beam of light towards the Earth, towards observer A on the Earth. Now the spaceship is moving at 0.8 C, that's 80% the speed of light. And the light leaving the flashlight is moving at the speed of light. So again, the classical thinking would say that, wow, that means that the light is approaching observer A on the Earth at a speed of c plus 0.8 c, or 1.8 times the speed of light. But again, Einstein said, that's not going to happen. No, the speed of light, as seen by this observer, is going to also equal c. Regardless of what the source is doing, regardless of what the observer is doing, the speed of light will always look like the speed of light, regardless of what they're doing. Hmm. That was a big step forward in our understanding of the special theory of relativity, which then resulted in equations that actually ended up being correct. So later on, Einstein was proven to be correct, but in the meanwhile, he had a lot of opposition to this concept because almost nobody accepted this initial concept of how we observe light always traveling at the speed of light. So a big step forward, forward in our understanding, and this was one of the first brilliant insights he had on that particular concept that helped us understand it. 